In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can group your pivot table based on intervals. Right now, this pivot table is summarizing sales by product line, but it's just giving me a grand total for each category. Let's say I wanted to dig a little deeper and focus on the different intervals. By doing so, I can highlight high sales amounts versus low sales amounts. So I can't just easily group this by right clicking and grouping the sales values here and doing that type of analysis. Because the reason is this sales field is in the values section of my pivot table. To get around this, I'm gonna grab the sales field once more. And this time I'm gonna drag it into the rows section as well. And once I do so, I mean, this may look a little bit funny, but what I can do now is right click and click on the option to group these values. And by doing so, I can specify my cutoff points. So let's say I want a nice neat cutoff. I want to start at zero, not the lowest value. And I want my range to end at a round value as well. So I've got 14,000 and change. So I'm going to type in 15,000 here and I'm going to jump by 1000 and you can change this bucket size to whatever you want. I'm going to leave it at the default as 1000 click. Okay. And now you can see now my sales are grouped based on the, their dollar amounts. So zero to 1000, this level of sales generated this much. This gives you a lot more insight into your data set by being able to focus on these different types of intervals and changing these buckets however you want or however, however you want to group your sales. So if I want to go back and right click, let's say group this, but let's say jump by 5,000 at a time, I can do that as well, change that. And so now we've got zero to 5,000, 5,000, 10,000, 10,000 to 15,000. So nice, neat cutoffs. And this makes it a whole lot easier now to analyze your pivot table rather than just looking at the sheer grand total for each category.